Hi and welcome to this week's vlog. Thank you for all the messages on Instagram. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, I will share things as they happen. Cancer's a sod to deal with. Um, I've been lucky in that I can take the pill form of chemo, so it's not quite as um, horrific in the terms of side effects, but uh, yeah, it's, it's ongoing. I mean, it's just something you have to deal with going forward. Um, my plan for the year for 2024 is to spend as much time as I can in here. My studio has been quite neglected in the past couple of years and my art in a way. Um, not neglected, but it, it's, it's played very much second fiddle to um, the role I think I said I was doing with the horses and the local pony club, which was fantastic. I mean, I would always say if you can volunteer to help, especially with youth sport, it's so rewarding. Um, but it was pretty demanding and, and I'm really looking forward to having a bit more time in the studio and being able to get back to my work. Um, art isn't something you just jump back into if you've had a bit of time off. Um, I just find time in the studio sort of creates creativity. So I just, in this weekly vlog, I want to do a small art or craft project, something that anyone can do that's fun, that the kids can do, that doesn't take very long, 10, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, that doesn't require a lot of materials, some things you will have to buy. Um, and I will try and link materials you'll need for the following week, but they won't ever be expensive. And certainly, you know, you will get plenty of use out of them. It won't just be for that one project. Um, this week, I thought we'd do these envelopes. So, I've created a variety of envelopes. I've had to hide the um, addresses for obvious reasons. Um, and they're just really fun. Um, it's more exciting to get an envelope with fish and octopus and bright neon um, writing on than it is just to get a plain, boring white one. Um, I was given a set of stationery by my husband for Christmas, which was really lovely really lovely very plain very white um, I really love using sort of colour stationery and um, I just thought I would liven it up a bit so to that end I have got now I've got a wooden print block um, you can buy these through the well through lots of places eBay Etsy um, I buy mine through the arty crafty place they're brilliant they're really quick to dispatch they're not expensive a couple of pounds um, and you can use them again and again and again. Um, you just need to clean them with a damp cloth afterwards. Um, with them, I use this fluorescent, um, oh, that snorting is the dog, on your bed, go on. Um, this fluorescent acrylic from Jackson's, I think I bought it, Golden Acrylics, they're really good. Any acrylic will, paint will do, any post paint or stuff you've got that the kids have got. Um, or you can use old paint samples. They work really well. Just make sure they haven't separated. You want them, you want them mixed. And then I've got for the lettering, because my envelope's dark, I'm gonna use this sort of neon um, writer. Any Sharpie will do, um, but obviously with a darker envelope, it's fun to have ink that stands out. Um, this I also bought from Jackson's and they're called One For All. Um, that's the brand, I've got a couple here. I've got an art pen by Tombow. I've got a set of these and I love these. But yes, Sharpies are equally good. Um, they, you know, they give a really good line as well. Um, I'm gonna start with the address because normally I would start with the stamps and then have a, you know, do 20 and then I'd have them um, to use as and when I came to write letters. Not very often, it has to be said, around Christmas time. Um, but uh, I always get paint over myself and I don't really want to. So I'm going to do the address first and think and think about the address. Kind of fill your space in the envelope. You know, I know my B is probably going to go there. So I'm, I'm going to need my stamp there. So I'm going to, I need to fill this half. So think how you're going to write it and have a bit of a practice. And before you do it on the envelope, um, I think I might curve the top, for example.
So we've done our address. Now we need to apply the B. Oh, put my lid on, otherwise I'll ruin yet another pen. So you just, you need to squeeze out just a little bit of your paint. I've got just a, one of these disposable palettes here. And then use a sponge. I've just chopped up an old um, dishwashing brush thing. The sponge on your paint. Place it. Place it carefully. And there you go. And then put your stamp on and you're away. Or you can fill in details of the bee if you want to. Um, you can be as creative as you want with these. Just it, it's just fun to think how you can how you can bring art into the everyday. I suppose is my aim with this. Um, just doing something weekly. It, it's such a good way to to wind down or just take your mind elsewhere. Take your mind off the stress of work or family or children, um, and just do something for yourself that brings pleasure to others. Ideally. Um, I just, yeah, when, when I was going through the worst of the stress after the cancer was diagnosed, I sort of um, produced these on a factory line and, and some gift cards. Um, and I just was able to get lost in it for hours and hours. And I think that's what art does for us. It's amazing in, in its way to be able to take your mind elsewhere. It's, it's very healthy. Um, Obviously, there are stresses with being an artist. Once it's your career, it's like any job. There are pressures and deadlines and stresses. But I think for all of us, it's it's a really healthy thing to do on a on a sort of weekly or daily basis. Um, it's been a really long winter. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, we we have horses, and it has rained relentlessly for what feels like three months. And my view has been pretty much just muck heaps and water as far as the eye can see. Um, it's so lovely to be back in the studio and I really can't wait to really get my teeth stuck into some, some proper painting. Um, I really want to go a more contemporary style this year. I started last year really developing it and had a few pieces selected for the Wildlife Arts of the Year. Um, and then things just got really busy over the summer with the horses and then, yeah, with the cancer diagnosis, diagnosis in September. I, short of completing the commissions I had lined up for Christmas, I really haven't done very much painting at all. Um, I have a few articles to write for magazines on um, colour theory, which is my other specialism, and I will definitely be doing a bit of that in our weekly projects. Um, and yeah, anything you think you'd like me to do or to cover, whether it's arts or crafts. I do a lot of sewing as well, so if there's any like little projects you'd like, to do with that, we can do that. Um, I, I also have a teaching website, and so I will, my other project for the year is to develop more online courses for that. It's katharineingleby.teach.com, I think. I'd have to check that, but I will link it um, below. Uh, it, it's pretty sparse at the moment, but my plan for the year is to really build that up as well. Um, and yeah. Hopefully, over the year, we will build up a lot of videos and sort of little how-tos and a bit of an insight into the working life of an artist and, and working towards, hopefully, a solo exhibition at the end of 2024. So, for next week, uh, you really don't need very much at all. You will need a brush, um, a sort of fairly fine brush, actually, sort of a, a watercolour brush, if you can, a fat one and a, and a thin one, if you can lay your hands on that really doesn't need to be good quality that you know don't be put off by not having the materials you can literally do it with anything but if you can get hold of a couple of watercolor brushes or children's paint brushes absolutely fine makeup brushes make very good paint brushes um so yeah if you can get hold of those and some watercolor paper ideally or card that huffing is fudging, fudging. um then then we will have our project for next week Thank you very much for watching and please hit subscribe. We will see you next week. Have a happy week. Bye.